Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. And I just made a painting that sold instantly. <laughs> and I just published it recently on whatever yesterday was. It must be the 29th of February. So it was called uh, something like Cosmic Event Horizon. And I made it... I accidentally filled one of these little silicone salad dressing containers you can find in like uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls or someplace some discount store, discount department store, and uh, I didn't like what I got. <laughs> Quite honestly, I did not like it. It came out muddy, but I had put all the colors in here from my iPod box, which is wherever. Yeah, I'd filled my iPod box, and then I dumped it in there. So this time I'm hoping that I can actually conquer this. That's white pearl, which I really do like next to uh, the gold which is the mica gold that's on my Amazon link now. You can mix it yourself. It's pretty easy. Don't breathe it. But um, it's easily mixed with GAC 800 and DecoArt pouring medium and the flow troll. Probably any one of those things would work. So I'm not sure what I'm going to get, but I am going to have some fun trying it again. I'm going to try not to put too much force on the bottles, the pressure when I put it in there. And if they're clogged, I'll put no pressure on them. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that had a bad clog. I think I am going to put some color shift. Oh, I have no orange in there. I can't get enough colors in there, honestly. <laughs> oh, well. I didn't put any of my purple in there, but you know what? I can add my colors to anything I want. And I will just give this the best I can for right now. I wanted some of that turquoise though. And then I'll top it up with some white or some black. Maybe some black. Maybe not. Maybe some blue. I don't have any light colors in there. And now I'm full. I have no idea what you could duplicate this effect with. Um, but I'm sure if you think about it long enough, you can. I'm going to leave that to the side. If this comes out even vaguely like the other one, I would be very surprised. But I'm ready to be very happily surprised. And what I used to start with the other day was an OXO omelet turning spatula. Also, what I used is something I don't mind getting rid of, which is the mixed up with pouring medium and Nita's black metallic, which is very gunmetal gray. And I don't know how much of that I put on the other day, but I think it's going to be a similar effect. I love these OXO omelet turning spatulas because you can see, don't dump your paint over, you can see very well when you spatula things flat what might be protruding from the paint better than any other way I can think of because it's a more even coat. Now, I'm going to put a few other things down here right now. Because I want more paint than I had the last time. Not that it didn't work out well, because it certainly did. I have a color I want. Where are you, color I want? Come to me, color I want. There you are. Sometimes I start these paintings and I just want to keep what I started with. I, I could think I could just be, you could lock me in a room forever and I would just play with squeeze bottles happily. No doubt about it. I've got some white pearl and I think I'm going to use that over here. Now all of this is just to help paint slide. So even though it's nice and I could go, hey, I'm done. I could do that. You know what? I've got black too. And I found the other day that using the two blacks together was what I wanted. And I didn't start with everything. I I wound up using the other color, and I will do that. Yeah, I can't help. I, I compose no matter what I'm doing, even if it's at this stage. Um, I'm going to try to restrain myself from torching and calling it good. All right, so I started from my outside. 
And I'm going to let that drain down somewhat. I'm going to just put it at an angle so that it... Where can I put it at an angle? I have to rest it on something so it drains to the bottom. And then... I'm going to wish I had some more gold in there, but I can always add some more gold. I have some really nice nice sort of animal print type cells happening here. And as I recall, I grabbed some... What did I grab? It doesn't matter what I grabbed. I'm going to grab something different. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get lucky. Again. I want some of my favorite color. Right up in there. Oh, it looks like a moment when I'm going to have to decide whether I'm going to go on or leave it the way it is. I'm sure I'm probably going to go on in spite of the fact that it's pretty cool looking. I'm going to do what I did the, the last time. I'm going to let some of my colors tip again. I'm very interested in leaving that spiral in the center and I'm not sure that's really a possibility actually. I see that thing that does not belong? whatever you are thing that does not belong, go away. So, I'm not hating what I've got. I want some something lighter and I want, since I've got the black that I was missing last time, I'm going to use my Prussian blue instead to darken up the areas that I want darker. I've got enough paint to fall down over the edge, which is something I like to do when I get a chance for a minute. So, because especially because the black and the Prussian blue are very opaque when they sit there and you touch them when they're wet, you can dig down a canvas very easily. So now I have to make up my mind <laughs> what I'm going to do. I want I used black instead of white the last time. And I want some more drama, and I don't need a lot of it. I remember now. It's about the basting brush. Where else? I want to put gold in. I don't want white. And I don't mind that there's some paint still in there. We're getting all kinds of cool cells. I want more gold. I don't want to eradicate everything, but I want more gold. So I'm just going to be a little cautious. Much more my colors than the other day, although the other day's colors were awesome, so I'm not complaining. So that makes me wonder what should go in there, and that's either going to be lighter or darker. I've got paint on my spatula that I'm going to take off with my basting brush and try not to annihilate all the gorgeous cells. And I am going to do... What, I'm, what am I going to do? I am going to wipe off that basting brush. I should have rinsed it first probably. But I do like this green color and I do want some of it in there. I think I want some of it over there. And I have a smaller basting brush too. Both of these came from Walmart, from the cooking, from the housewares section. And I pulled out every other bristle on them so that when you're pulling paint with them, they won't encounter each other and just pull a mass. If I wanted that, I would use a uh, spatula, which I might do right now because I like the idea of having a mass right there. I don't have nearly enough orange, and I'm not sure what to do about that. I kind of want all of that to come that way. And it is kind of behaving for me, so I'm not unhappy about that in the least. I 
think I would like all of this to move just a little bit, and I don't want to use that blue. So this is a weird new style, unexpected, and uh, discovered by accident. And I'm just going to let that go right in there. I've got GAC 800 by Golden. It's a product that is meant to keep paint from cracking when it's heavy. I want to try and see if I can get a few cells right there. And if I can't get them one way, I'm going to maybe get them another. That's not the one way I'm going to get them. So, I'm going to pull out a piece of chain. Hopefully a short piece of chain. Go into my hand, you. Because the basting brush mixes it too much, the chain will just drag it about a bit. I don't mind that. I like that. So what I want still, since we have five minutes left, this is a fairly quick process, is to throw some of that Prussian blue right up there. Use my dampened basting brush. still has paint on it. Let it sort of coat the edges, which is not bothering me a bit. And it seems to work even better than I expected. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm happy. So, do I want some more gold? I kind of do. I just needed something for a lot more drama right there. And there's some texture now. I'm going to pull this to the edge. Oh, I think I like that white up there. Throw a little skewer in there. Makes a different mark. Add some different texture. I'm going to take that skewer and roll it right over the edge. I like the back and forth. I like these little stripes in here. They're, they're cool. Yep, I gotta call that a success. I am down here on this edge. You cannot see me, I am pretty sure, because I have paint I want to let over on that edge, and I don't want it to deposit itself immediately on my tile. I'm gonna just use basting brush, too, with residual paint on it to coat that edge. We haven't torched yet. I can't wait to see what happens when we do. I'm going to throw a little more of this purple over here and not worry about the tile. And we're almost finished with this stage, so I'm going to start to tell you that I have over 400 videos. I have Teespring clothing. I just added a couple more new designs, too. And I won't stop. If I get the chance, I'll add some more and some slogans. Um, shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you. It helps me out. You can find the OXO omelet turning spatula that I started with and the mica powder that you can make your own gold with. It's amazing. I recommend it very much. And my ox, excuse me, <laughs> my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas, which are right here, tangled up with some chain. There we go. We got lots of them. Round, flat, long, rectangular, pointed. I like the flat front. If you can only afford one, get the flat front. That's my recommendation anyway. So I'm pretty well covered, and now I want to torch. I'm going to take a finger full of paint and touch up a spot I can see missing canvas. What's going to happen to this? <laughs> oh my goodness. So what else do I have to tell you? My crib sheet got destroyed. It got painted. So there are um, three Facebook albums of wet and dry YouTube artworks at the bottom of the description under the video. And they're next to Pinterest and Instagram links, so if you want to use those, you can. And uh, what else? I want black instead of this. I actually want turquoise instead of this.
I do sell my artwork, like I mentioned before. I think I think things are improving in that category. If there's ever a painting that you want to see printed as a poster or as a canvas print, something less expensive than an original piece of art, you have only to ask, and I will post it to one of my many places. If you go to my Facebook pages, you will find that there are um, not just Teespring, there's Curios. Oop, I lost some paint. Darn. Okay, well, I won't. I've learned a lesson about that. Don't let your. Uh... Let's just use it. <laughs> because I can. Oh, the name of my book, Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link. It's the first hundred video, uh, YouTube videos of my. Of my um, 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 um. It's my tools, it's my processes. Anyway, so. So far, I think I've remembered a lot of things, but probably not everything. I do, I do give classes at the house. Oh, in the last 20 seconds of the video, you will find the playlist for my YouTube channel for the acrylic pouring. So you might want to pay attention to that. My website is there also, and a subscribe button. And uh, there's a contest running. If you decide that you would like to contribute to the studio, you'll be entered automatically into a drawing that will happen on February 28th. And you'll get to choose, if you win, one of four paintings that I've included. And that's my two minute warning. I do set my, whoops, that was bad. I do set my timer because it's, uh, because there's only 20 minutes before the camera, shut, camera shuts off. So whatever I've forgotten, you will hear eventually on some other video. Um, I love you guys. Thank you all. I appreciate the contributions that have kept me painting so far. That black is sort of taunting me. And I need to do something to it. Both directions. I need some more anomalous marks, I guess. Yes, I like that. I can just dip my skewer and do it again. I don't mind having paint on my skewer. I do torch to release the bubbles in the paint, but also to release patterns in the paint. That turquoise is awesome in there. I think I'm as done as I need to be with this. Well, I say that, <laughs> and then I lie. Okay, so we're pretty close. Now I'm happy. Now I'm really happy. Here, you can see what I can see. It's, uh, it's not the same Event Horizon, but it's definitely very, very awesomely cool. I love it. If I didn't already have hundreds of paintings, I would probably think about buying this. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, saying, I'm going to zoom in for you. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Um, bye for now. Priscilla out.